Okay, doing a brief introduction into organic chemistry. Um, first off, what we have here, don't worry about yet. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first off, let's understand what organic chemistry is. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon compounds. Okay, uh, as you can recall from what we learned before, carbon forms for covalent bonds. Um, and because of that, uh, it can create some very unique structures. And these, these are the structures of life, um, structures that, that living compounds have. Um, when Let's take uh, uh, DNA, for example. DNA is, is really just carbon bonded to carbon, bonded to carbon. And it's bonded like this billions of times. It's just... Um, massive strands of, of carbon and uh, that is that is what makes all of us unique um, everyone has their own DNA and RNA same thing um, it's just carbon bonded to carbon bonded to carbon billions of times um, organic compounds have what are called functional groups okay uh, functional a functional group is an atom or it's a group of atoms uh, within a molecule that have characteristic physical and chemical uh, properties or behaviors, and it's the functional groups that that make organic compounds what they are. Um, an, an organic compound could be a, it could be a huge structure, but what we're concerned with is the the functional groups of that compound, um, and and that's how we study organic chemistry. What I have here is just the first four. Uh, f uh, functional groups of organic compounds with alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic compounds. Um, there, there's a number of other ones. The list goes on and on. You have alcohol, ether, ketones, uh, amides, um, carboxylic acids, uh, a few more in there. But um, these are the first four. And the reason I'm talking about only the first four in this video is because these are the hydrocarbons. And what does hydrocarbon mean? Hydrocarbon means uh, that it is these bonds are only carbon-carbon bonds or they're carbon-hydrogen bonds. Okay, uh, you're not going to find chlorine bonded to anything in here. You're not going to find nitrogen base uh, or nitrogen bonded to anything in here. Um, it's only carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen that are bonded uh, in these first four. So the first four are really pretty simple to remember. Uh, just remember the first four are hydrocarbons. And then what makes them, them separate from that is, first off, alkanes are all single bonds. Alkenes are all double bonds. Alkynes are all triple bonds. And aromatic compounds, of course, um, I think it's obvious they're all, all single bonds, but they form a ring like this. Um, if we had a hydrogen, off of each one of these carbon atoms. That would be what we call our benzene ring. Um, a lot of a lot of these uh, are are known carcinogens. Okay, um, that gets into more depth than we need to go right now. But um, just kind of a side note there. Um, let's talk about alkenes and let's do a couple examples. Uh, if we had CH three, uh, CH three. That is an example of an alkane, because if we draw this out, we have carbon singly bonded to another carbon, and then we have our three hydrogens off of that. Okay. Um, if we had if we had CH two and CH two, what would that be? Well, let's draw it. If we had a carbon bonded to another carbon, we have two hydrogen atoms off of each one, but we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, carbon likes to have four, so it's a double bond. Um, so of course this would be an alkene. Uh, let's do an example of an alkyne. Um, just carbon, uh, carbon bonded to another carbon. And what would it have to have? If we have a triple bond here, it would only allow us to have one. So it could be... Um, I'm trying to think uh, what this structure is. Acetylene. It's ethylene. That's what it is. Um, 
and then and then the aromatic compound is, is pretty simple to figure out so um, yeah it's kind of a lot of information at first um, I tried to not, not give you too much here um, but play around with some structures. Um, you should have something in your book. Otherwise, you can find it on the internet too. Uh, um, just play around and try to try to figure out what some of these are. Or try to figure out if it's an alkane or an alkene or an alkyne. Uh, just remember, step one, you're gonna look and see what it's made up made up of. If there's if there's anything other than uh, carbon or hydrogen, uh, you're not gonna be able to figure out what it is yet because we haven't talked about it yet okay but if it's only carbon and hydrogen you can figure out um, what functional group it belongs to step number two if it is only carbon and hydrogen is to look at the bonds between them of course the aromatic compound is obvious but uh, otherwise just look see if there's a single bond see if there's a double bond see if there's a triple bond and then you can match it up to its its functional group and go from there um, in the next video, I'll talk about naming these and, uh, and how we do that. So.